Hello everyone, this is Sean Woodruff from ProPride Incorporated and ProPrideHitch.com. I've been getting a couple calls uh, the last few days from some of my customers about a new blog. Well, it's not really a new blog, but it's a blog that's a blog page that's been put up on uh, MyHensley.com. And first thing you'll notice about this blog is there really is uh, no way to comment on it down below here. Um, comments are closed so it's really just uh, information thrown up to uh, I don't know what for but just out there by by admin it's pretty easy to find out whose uh, website this is though if you go over to GoDaddy and do a who is search results you'll see that myhensley.com oh, where are we here um, is owned by right here myhensley.com above the cursor is owned by Ron Estrada of Oxford, Michigan. Uh, Ron Estrada is the son-in-law of the owner of Hensley Manufacturing. So that mystery of who owns MyHensley.com is solved right there. And we'll go back over here to the MyHensley.com slash ProPride page where we're doing a Hensley Arrow versus ProPride comparison. Um, comparison, I'm not sure it's spelled that way, but that's beside the point. Anyway, uh, Let's just go through some of the points that Mr. Estrada has here and see how we um, how we can uh, compare the two hitches or the points that he thinks are important. Let's start with the hitch bar. Hensley Arrow, two inches longer than PP so that the force of the hitch bar is placed behind the bearings. A longer hitch bar adds strength and rigidity to the connection. Shorter hitch bar to make up for the heavier weight of the adjustable bar. The end point of the hitch bar is even with the bearings, placing the extreme tension at this critical location. Okay, um, I'll give him, at least he knows the difference in the lengths of the hitch bars, but not sure why that matters as long as your bearings are designed properly. Um, not sure how you can even, how he's measuring that extreme tension. Uh, so, you know, we'll give them that one. Not that it matters, but let's give them that one. Point number two, fixed hitch bar. Because your trailer cannot sway, all that energy is projected into the hitch bar. A solid hitch bar provides the strength required to absorb that energy. I'm not sure what he means here either, because if, if the trailer cannot sway, there can't be any sway energy, I, I wouldn't think. Um, so it's really not a logical statement. Uh, and I'm not sure how you project energy into something. If the energy's there, the trailer must be swaying. So this whole paragraph here is uh, not logical and can't even understand where he's coming from. Um, over here under the Pro Pride column, adjustable hitch bar, while this appears a convenience, it adds weight to the portion of the hitch bar that you'll need to lift on a regular basis. The unused portion of the hitch bar hangs below the hitch and may catch in your safety chains causing damage to your hitch. Again, um, it is a convenience. Saves our customers $75 to $125 every time they need to change their offset on their hitch bar. Uh, we don't make exchanging hitch bars a um, we don't make exchanging hitch bars a profit center, even though it's called a free hitch bar exchange at Hensley Manufacturing. There is money built into the shipping uh, for them to make money on it. Uh, the next point is the weight of the hitch bar. It is heavier. It's not 52 pounds. I just put one on a scale. It's 48 pounds, but I guess 52 pounds sounds heavier than 48 pounds, so there's no need for them to weigh one when they're making this post. And if you look up here on the hitch bar, there's nothing hanging down below to catch in the chains. If you configure the hitch bar properly, there's nothing hanging below anything, and the chains easily hook up. Uh, over a couple thousand hitches on the road, never had one problem with a hitch bar uh, hanging up on chains or anything else. I'm not even sure where that where they make that up from. So there we are. That's the hitch bar comparison. Let's go down here to hooking up. Here in the Hensley arrow column, the arrow hitch bar angles from two inches up to two and a half inches, which is sufficient for hookup and provides a long funnel to assist the hookup process. 
Anyone that knows uh, the or has done any research on the hands of the arrow knows the number one problem of an arrow is the hooking and unhooking. And that's due to that long bar, back up here again, two inches longer that he states, trying to insert into a very small hole. Over here on the, on the Pro Pride hitch bar, we have a shorter hitch bar. We have a wide three inch opening, which is a shorter funnel. Now he says here that this causes a more severe sticking point if you hook up at an incorrect angle. I'm not quite sure how longer will not make more of an angle than shorter while hooking up. Um, so again, the logic here just doesn't make sense. It's like it's coming out of uh, left field. but. 2,000 plus customers, actually 2,300 plus customers as of, as of the making of this video. We've had five hooking calls into our office while at Hensley Manufacturing. When I was the vice president of Hensley Manufacturing, there was a full-time employee answering hooking and unhooking calls. I think the proof's in the, in the pudding there. Um, it's very easy to determine which hitch is easier to hook up. All you got to do is do some research on the internet. Uh, some of the forums and ask customers. You can even ask some of the customers that have owned the Arrow versus owning the, the Pro Pride 3P. Next point, mounting. Two adjustable strut bars anchor the main unit to the trailer frame. All mechanical devices wear over time, so built-in wrench on struts allow you to adjust out the stretching of the trailer frame. Hmm. Not sure how trailer frames are stretching. Again, Stretching of the trailer frame. Just doesn't make any sense again. Over here, the yoke system developed for Hensley Manufacturing in 1997 does not allow for any adjustment. It doesn't need any adjustment. First of all, it wasn't developed for Hensley Manufacturing in 1997. Hence the reason I was uh, able to license it from Jim Hensley. Uh, Hensley Manufacturing has no clue about the yoke design that's used on the Pro Pride and does not allow for any adjustment. It doesn't need any adjustment because trailer frames aren't stretching when you use the Pro Pride like they are over here with the strut bars. A new hitch will perform well, but over time sway will begin to occur and cannot be adjusted out of the system. Again, um, a made up statement. Over time, we don't have anything stretching. We don't need the adjustment. We don't have anything swaying at the beginning. And we don't have anything swaying after thousands of miles. So, again, a, a kind of a silly uh, statement there. Down here, weight distribution jacks. Hensley's jacks are designed specifically for our purpose. As you tighten your jacks, they telescope, meaning that the jack collapses in on itself, making it shorter, therefore stronger against the heavy load of the weight distribution bars. Okay. The Pro Pride utilizes that is essentially a pair of tongue jacks modified to fit the trailer frame. As you tighten the jacks, the gr they grow in length, extending farther above the trailer. A longer supporting structure is a weaker supporting structure. Again, um, engineers should be more clearer on how they determine things, but our jack is over twice the diameter of the Hensley jack that you see here. You can read right here on this My Hensley blog uh, a post about jack problems that they've had over the years. Our jacks are made by Norco Industries, a well-known um, American-made uh, jack company in Elkhart, Indiana. Uh, it's rated at over 3,000 pounds per jack. Um, again, not one problem about the distance that it extends up to 10 inches for weight distribution. Uh, so th more um, you know, made-up comparison there uh, rather than experiential truth and engineering comparison. Next point, ground clearance. Clearance was an initial concern in the design of the Hensley, as the hitch box sits five and a half inches, five and a half inches below the trailer coupler. After 16 years, we've determined that ground clearance is rarely an issue, but we could not lower the spring bars any more than the current design. Okay, because of the wider hitch box opening and other design issues, the spring bars of the Pro Pride have as much as two inches less ground clearance which will cause problems on steep inclines, curves, and off-road conditions. The top of the ball measurement, right here on the Pro Pride hitch, to the bottom of the bearing cap, versus the top of the ball measurement right here on the arrow to the bottom of the bearing cap, 
is less than one half inch difference. That's really the only <laughs> the only number that matters. Not sure where this two inches came from. You can see here in their office they have, um, you know, they have an arrow. They have a Pro Pride which they bought from me, one of the first ones we built um, through a surrogate uh, customer. Um, and it's it's just again another ridiculous comparison that isn't based in fact. And all you gotta do is get out a ruler, make some measurements. Um, the difference in our design is we do have a thicker control length link, control link here. If you notice here, the link that controls uh, the sway versus their link here. Their link can bend under load. We've never even had one come close to bending, but we do have a thicker, stronger link. And finally, construction. All critical joints of the Hensley Arrow are welded, giving it strength required to handle the toughest conditions and last a lifetime. The Pro Pride uses nuts and bolts at most of the joints, which reduces the strength and tend to loosen with use. Not sure what they determine as critical joints. Um, again, just a general generalization. You know, it's just a generalization, a critical joint. Nuts and bolts can be tightened. Um, they have a clevis pin at a real critical joint where the strut bar connects to the main unit. And it can rip, when the strut bar becomes loose, it rips out the, the hole. Um, pretty critical joint there. Over here, we have a three quarter inch bolt that can take um, you know, 250 foot pounds of torque on the thing to tighten the thing. I'm not sure how it's gonna become loose. And all of our welds, are welded by certified welders um, completely strong no problem and so this again just a general term trying to make things up um, and wanted to just point this out in this short little video um, Hensley Hitch versus Pro Pride again just some generalities thrown out there not based in any fact uh, I think I have a little more respect. I, I don't think I do. I know I have more respect for you, um, anybody researching this product, um, to spell out the facts for you. Um, anytime you see me post anything on the internet, it is under my name, Sean Woodruff. Again, uh, no general terms just thrown out there for you. They will all, it will all be based in fact. And I hope this answers any questions for you. Um, one last thing, down here with the strut bars, as far as adjusting things out versus our yoke mechanism under mounting, there's another page over here that uh, check your struts. The biggest problem any of you will ever encounter is a bent strut. About 10 customers call each year with a bent strut. Uh, more customers in that call, but most of the time they call and they have to tighten their struts. Again, we have a solid welded yoke welded solid that does not take any adjustment you don't have to check anything every time you hook up the hitch is just there ready to work ready to eliminate sway um, so i hope this has been helpful for you uh, i'm sorry you know we gotta answer this re these ridiculous statements um, but again uh, i'm here if you need anything give me a call i'm at st woodruff at propridehitch.com is my email or you can give me a call on my 800 number 800-960-4767 or get in touch with me at propridehitch.com. Thanks for listening and have a great day.